What up, Reader Fam? Today I am bringing you my summer TBR. I'm gonna be sharing with you the books that I'm hoping to get to this summer. Normally in the summertime I'm reaching towards contemporary stories, but for some reason I'm really in the mood to devour some fantasy books, so that's what I'm gonna do. So here are the books that I am planning to read this summer. First up, I'm gonna go over the Booksplosion books of the month for the upcoming months, which if you don't know what Booksplosion is, I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking lately what Booksplosion is. It's a monthly book club that I help host with Christine from Poem Bananas Books and Kat from Catty Tastic. Each month we pick a book to read together and then we hold a live show at the end of the month. For June we are reading Now I Rise and we are working with Penguin Random House. This is the sequel to And I Darken by Kirsten White. We read this first book a few years back and we all really enjoyed it and so we decided that it was time to finally read the second book in the trilogy. So what's happening we're gonna read it up. What I'm really hoping to do this summer is actually read the second book Now I Rise and then carry on and read the final book in the trilogy, which comes out on July 10th and is called Bright We Burn. I obviously can't say what the second and third book are about because it might spoil me and it might spoil you, and we're not about spoiling up in here, but I will fill you in on what And I Darken is all about, and it will kind of give you an idea of what you can expect with these books. So this series is a historical retelling of Vlad the Impaler, except Vlad is not a guy. In this book, Vlad is a girl. We follow this reimagined Vlad the Impaler from birth to young adulthood. I guess she has a name. They don't just call her Reimagine Vlad the Impaler every time they talk about her in this book, obviously. That would be dumb. She goes by Lada in this book. Lada and her brother are taken from their home and they're abandoned by their father and they end up being raised in the Ottoman Empire, a place that Lada despises and that's kind of a big part of this book. We follow their lives there and this growing desperation that Lada has to get back home. I feel like I did not do a very good job of describing this series, but hopefully that gives you kind of an idea idea as to what you can expect with this. I really enjoyed this first book and I felt like I learned so much about Vlad the Impaler even though it is a reimagining of that original story and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in book two and book three. In July we will be reading Tempests and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce which I have been wanting to read a book by Tamora Pierce for so long. I feel like so many people love her book. She's just a beloved fantasy writer and I hear nothing but amazing things about her books. I've been really wanting to read something by her so I'm excited that this this is our book explosion book of the month for the month of July. Now this book does follow one of her characters from her other books, but it can be read on its own. I believe this is kind of an origin story for the character Aram. In this book, we follow him on his journey of becoming the realm's most powerful mage. We see him attending magic school with two of his best friends by his side. I know, I feel that Harry Potter vibe coming through too, and I am A-OK -okay with it. So we just kind of follow his experiences at school, and I believe he's the kind of person that just always finds himself in trouble. So that should make his story really fun and dramatic. I love stories with magic in them, I love stories that take place in magical schools, and I love stories with a focus on friendship. So I'm hoping that this ends up being a story that I love, because it's got a lot of story elements that I love. So please book, come through and make me love you. Like I said, we are reading this book in July, so if you want to pick it up and join us, be sure to do just that. Next up, I'm going to mention one of my most anticipated releases for this summer. There aren't too many books coming out this summer that I'm interested in, I only really have one and it's the one that I'm about to talk about, and that is Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel. I read at Night Film by Marisha Pessel several years ago, and I really loved this book, and I believe this is her first YA book that she has coming out, which is why I'm really intrigued and I really want to read this book. I really want to see how she does as a YA writer and what she kind of brings to the table. Also, another reason why I really want to read this book is because when I read the description, it kind of gave me a little bit of We Were Liars vibe, which is one of my all-time favorite books, which they might not even end up being anything alike, but that's that's okay. And this book came out on June 5th. I need to pick up a copy. We follow this group of friends and they're basically living their best lives, but a tragedy hits their friend group when one of them dies in a really shocking way. Our main character Beatrice was dating the guy who was killed, and one year after she graduates, she returns to kind of get to the bottom of his death. And the truth might just cost her her life. Oh snap. I'm sure there's a lot more to the story obviously, but consider me intrigued. It's supposed to be a mystery thriller, which I don't read many mystery thrillers. Thrillers, I'm gonna be honest here. I would like to work more mystery thrillers into my reading life So here's a stepping stone in that direction I can't wait to get to the bottom of this mystery and hopefully it's a thrilling ride along the way I feel like this will probably be one of those books that just has me questioning everything as I read it Just like we were liars did to me and it'll probably have me coming up with all these crazy theories that don't even make sense Next up hopefully this summer I will be rereading vicious by V.E. Schwab now I had no intentions of rereading vicious this summer, but 
But then I remembered that the sequel is popping out later this year and I was like, I gotta reread Vicious. There's no way that I can read the sequel to Vicious without having a refresher on everything that goes down in this first book. This book is about two guys named Eli and Victor and they used to be bros, they used to be the best of friends, they used to be roommates. And they were roommates. God, they were roommates. And together they figured out a way to get extraordinary abilities through near-death experiences. It starts out as this academic research project, but then it kind of gets carried away when it starts to bleed into their personal lives. We jump 10 years later and the once brotherhood between these two characters has disappeared. And the boys are now enemies and going up against each other with their abilities. It's an anti-hero story with incredible character depth. It's dark and gritty and it's one of my all-time favorite B.E. Schwab books. Even though I'm pretty sure I say that about every V.E. Schwab book. They're just all my favorites, okay? One of my greatest regrets, well, not my greatest, that was very dramatic in saying that. One of the regrets I have is not doing a book talk on this book after finishing it way back when. I just wasn't intending to love this book as much as I did when I first read it, so I didn't take down any notes while I was reading it the first time because I just gulped it down because I was loving it so much. So I think this go around, I'm gonna take my time, take good notes, and pop out a quality book talk for you you guys. Speaking of Victoria Schwab, I also have plans to pick up the second book in the Shades of Magic trilogy, A Gathering of Shadows. Because honestly, it's time for me to continue on with this trilogy and complete it. I need to stop putting off all of Victoria Schwab's books and get with it. The thing is, I know that I will love her books because I've loved every one of them so far. I just never end up devoting my time to them for whatever reason. I really need to work my way back into being the ultimate Victoria Schwab fanboy. And I've got a a lot of work to do to get caught up. So A Gathering of Shadows is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic, and the events that take place in this book happen four months after the first book. Again, because of my spoiler policy, I will not be reading the description of book two, but I'll tell you a little bit about book one. In the first book, we learn of this world that consists of four different London. We've got red, gray, white, and black London. And we follow our main character, Kel, who is a traveler, which means he has the ability to hop between the different Londons. And his job is to deliver messages between the the different kingdoms. So on the side of that job, he also does some smuggling, and that's what ends up getting him in some big trouble. That's the most basic description for this trilogy. So much more goes into it, but you're just gonna have to read it for yourself to find out what that is. I feel like I just made it sound so dull, but I promise it's super magical and great. I just don't want to give too much away. Y'all, I am just feeling insecure about the descriptions I'm giving you today. Normally, I feel like I'm on top of my game, but today I'm shaking in my boots. Next up on my list, I have Traitor's Blade by Sebastian de Castel. This is a random book that I bought a while back and I just completely forgot about it, so my sincere apologies book, I did not mean to forget about you, but I did. But I picked it up the other day off my bookshelf, read the description, and I got excited for it all over again. The story follows three magistrates. We follow Felcio, Kest, and Brasti. I don't think I'm pronouncing any of their names correctly, so I'm sorry. After the king of the kingdom ends up being murdered, the three end up working as bodyguards for this nobleman who's kind of trash. He ends up not wanting to pay them for what they're doing, for working for him, for protecting him, what the heck? But then that nobleman ends up being killed and the three are being framed for his murder. Interest peaked. I need to know how they're gonna get out of this messy situation. The thing is, I don't know if I'll figure out how they're gonna get out of this situation with this book because this is the first in a series. So this storyline might not even conclude in this first book. It might take a full series to get to the bottom of this situation. That would really suck. Hopefully this first book has a nice conclusion though, or I'll be ticked. I honestly haven't heard much babble about this book, so I'm excited to read it and babble about it myself. Last on my list of books that I must get to this summer is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. I need to read this book in preparation for the final book, Kingdom of Ash, that's coming out this fall, especially because this book is like vital to the series and not many people know that. Most people just think that this is just a novella bind up with stories about Kale, but y'all, I'm pretty sure this is super important to the series so you might want to read it if you haven't yet. Apparently things that happen in this book will affect the events of the final book. Regardless of what people think about this series and this author, I still really enjoy it. I recognize that the series as a whole has issues. In fact, I myself have grown a bit of annoyance with some of the characters, but I still find these books hecka entertaining so I'm gonna keep reading them. This book follows 
one of my favorite characters from the series, Kale Westfall. I haven't been super happy with his character arc throughout the series, but a lot of people have been raving about this book, so I'm going in cautiously optimistic here. So those are some books on my TBR for this summer, some books that I'm really hoping that I'm able to get to. You guys should let me know down below in the comments some books that you're planning to get to this summer, or just let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in today's video and what you thought of them. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-choo!